As snake breeders, we obviously can't keep all of the snakes that we hatch here. This is an albino bull snake that we produced a few years ago, and she is doing great. She should be an awesome breeder next year for us. But for those of us that we sell to people who want a pet snake, whether they've had it for a month or three years, we love updates because we're always wondering how they're doing with their new families. So we reached out to the community asking those who had bought a reptile from us in the past to send us an update so that we can make a whole video about how our babies are doing in their new homes. Needless to say, we got some amazing submissions. So let's see how our babies are doing with their new families. Some of the submissions were videos, whereas others were emails sent to us with attached pictures and video clips. And for those, I will be reading the emails. So even though you'll hear my voice, pretend it's the owner's voice reading it out. Okay, are you ready for some really sweet updates? Let's get started. Hey, Emily and Ed. I just wanted to give you guys a quick update on my bull snake I got from you guys. Her name is Lilith. She's one of the multi-het bull snake babies that I hatched at the end of June. Um, so I just wanted to let you know that she's doing fantastic. She has eaten every single meal that I've fed her so far. She still eats one fuzzy once a week. And uh, yeah, I mean, she gulps it down no problem. And I gotta say, she is by far the sassiest snake I have ever worked with. I've owned and worked with snakes for 18 years. And she is the 14th snake I've personally had in my collection. And by far, she's got the biggest attitude for one of the smallest sizes. But we love her, and she's doing a lot better with handling. She still does hiss and uh, strike once in a while, but she's a work in progress, and I'm going to really enjoy working with her as she grows. Thank you, guys. Hi, everyone. I'm Lori, and this is our bull snake, Rodney. Rodney was hatched on July 1st, 2018 and joined our family on September 6th, 2018. She was produced by Ed and Emily at Snake Discovery and her parents are Brad and Janet. This is Rodney's regular living space. It's four feet long by two feet deep by one and a half feet high. She has opportunities for burrowing and climbing. She has a large water dish that she can both drink from, get in and get underneath. One of her favorite activities is to spend time in one of her two humid hides, which are filled with damp sphagnum moss. When Rodney is out of her enclosure, she has recreational activities to choose from, and those include foraging exercises and climbing. This is Rodney going back into her temporary enclosure at one of our outreach activities. She's going to take a break and let one of our other snakes take over for the day. In addition to that, Rodney is part of our training program. When presented with open doors and when this hanger is moved to the bottom of her enclosure, it signals that Rodney has the freedom of choice to decide to come out of her enclosure or not and shift herself out onto this activity station, which includes opportunities for climbing and foraging. Rodney chose to come out today and she's moving herself out on her activity station. Sometimes we hide food items on this for her to do some foraging, and at other times she's just allowed to use it for climbing. And then there are times when once she has completely shifted herself out onto the activity station, we move her to a transport tub to go to an outreach, or we put her in an area where she can safely do a foraging exercise. And this simulates natural hunting. So we will hide her prey item somewhere in amongst these items and she has to hunt for it as they would do in the wild. Rodney also engages in puzzle feeding exercises where she has to problem solve in order to get a food item out of a puzzle that she has to open somehow or manipulate in some way in order to get to the food. Everybody, thank you so much for your interest in Rodney. I'm gonna go ahead and put her up now. I hope that you enjoyed seeing some of the activities that she does living here with us. She will have been with us two years this week and we couldn't be happier with her. We love Rodney very much. Hi, this is Sarah. I wanted to get a hognose snake because of how derpy they are. Buttons has proven to be derpier than I could ever imagine. Most of her derpy moments revolve around eating. When she was little, if she struck at the mouse and missed, she scared herself so badly that she would then hiss and flatten and refuse to eat. She now has an exaggerated feeding response. Sometimes she strikes so hard, she flips herself over and begins eating the mouse upside down. But my very favorite thing about Buttons is her love of eating mice sideways. She almost always grabs the mouse by the belly, 
then uses her jaws to fold it in half and shove it down her throat. It takes her upwards of 20 minutes to eat because she's too stubborn to move to the head or butt, which makes for some very funny photos. Sincerely, Sarah. Hi, my name's Cole. This is my snake, Sly. I've had him for about one year. He's one of the prettiest babies. I used to have an other snake, um, skunk, and he sadly passed away. But we still have Sly. One thing that he likes to do is tunnel and go on his log. Bye, Emily. Hi, this is Sean sending an update about the albino bull snake I just got from you. He has had his first meal a couple days after settling in and has explored every inch of his enclosure and I've decided to name him Dr. Grant. Huge Jurassic Park fan here. He is such a sweetheart too and hasn't hissed at me yet. Sincerely, Sean. Hey guys, my name's Ashley and I have adopted two snakes from Emily and Edit Snake Discovery. Uh, this one is the most recent and he's the most cranky. He arrived here March 19th of this year, and uh, for those Patreon backers, he's the really sassy guy in the moss bucket. <laughs> he's gotten a little bit better about handling. He actually just went through a fresh shed, but he did refuse his meal recently. Uh, but I renamed him Orin, and uh, he's actually been a pretty good boy today, so this is cool. All right, his family was short-lived. I turned the camera off and set him down so that I could clean his bin and <laughs> chomp happened. All right, and this one is Marceline. I received her in November, I believe. She is one of the anchor babies from that rat corn video with the uh, scaleless dudes. There's her head stamp. She also just shed recently and she has gotten huge. She barely fit the center of my palm when I got her. This is my bull snake I got from Emily back in 2018. She is from the last clutch that was produced by Brad and Janet. Back when I used to do educational events with the Medicine Herpetological Society, she would come with me along with my corn snake and help educate people about reptiles, so she does really well with handling. She likes mice the best when it comes to feeding, but she's getting to the size where that's not practical, so we're working on switching over to rats. She's in a 4x2 enclosure from Chicago House of Reptiles that I got at Tinley last year, so her setup is pretty nice. I'd like to add some more branches for her to climb on, because she does seem to enjoy climbing even though she's a bull snake. Hello, this is Laura. I was generously offered to take in a ghost baby bull snake from Emily and Ed. I was intrigued by the attitudes bull snakes tend to have. The girl sent to me does not disappoint in that aspect. I had requested my snake arrive at my workplace, so I knew it arrived into my hands. I grew a crowd around me, something much frowned upon these days. When I was able to get her out and in the open, she began to wake up. That's when the sass began. Strike, hiss, strike, looks at any moving object menacingly. She was all over the place, causing both terror and excitement at my job. That's when someone called her Cranky. And bam, what rhymes with Cranky? Jakey! Jakey the Cranky Bull Snakey is her full name. After arriving at home and being in the corner of my room for time out, I thought she would be settled. Oh no, was I wrong? Oh. Jakey has plans to dominate this world and sass everyone in her way. We are currently still being monitored and not in a proper enclosure yet. She has been a little suspicious of the mice being fed to her, mistaking them for human flesh until her taste buds realize it's om nom time. Sincerely, Laura. Hi Emily, I'm just sending along a little update on the um, hypo white-sided bull snake that I got from you earlier this year. He's a lovely little fella. He's getting big he's already at 42 grams and he's actually the most polite snake i own which is odd considering he's a bull snake but he's a lovely little guy and i'm so happy to have him in my home oh but i almost forgot there's also <laughs> the red bull snake that you and my girlfriend schemed to uh get me as an anniversary present He's also doing well, and uh, he makes up for the ghost's lack of anger with uh, his, his own brand of spitfire. Remember how in cartoons, when they're trying to come up with an uh, answer in a moral dilemma, and on one shoulder pops an angel? Well, here's the devil on the other shoulder. But he's, uh, he too is a lovely little boy, and um, I've really just fallen in love with the Patuophis genus, so I'm, I'm really happy this happened. Thank you. 
The last submission came from Ariel, who bought a scaleless rat snake from us back in 2019, and she simply emailed, I named her Yuki, and she is doing amazing. So thank you everybody who submitted updates for this video. It was really heartwarming to watch and read how well your reptiles are doing in their new homes, whether you've had them for just a couple weeks or you've had you've been raising them for several years. I hope you all enjoyed this video as much as I did. If you'd like something in the future, let me know. I'm, I wouldn't mind putting together another one of these because of how fun it was to see all these updates, and I hope you enjoyed them too. But in the meantime, I would like to thank our amazing Patreon backers for their very generous support on this channel, several of whom actually bought reptiles from us in the past and are a part of this video. So thank you everybody who is involved, and we'll see you next time.